Hey, hello. Hey, hello, everyone. Um, we're doing a live stream with Felix and the lovely Dieter. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Vitamin, first name Dieter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Refer to me as such. <laughs> Sir, Sir Vitamin. Vitamin. Yeah, Sir Vitamin. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're pretty much just like, we're chilling, we're talking about, um, the video that just went up, which mm -hmm. was the d, d Tips video, which Dieter did animate. Hey, hey. Um, yeah, so for anybody who doesn't really know, uh, we kind of hired Dieter on for some videos, uh, starting with Felix Tips videos. Yeah. we were... Yeah. So I, I realized I don't have time <laughs> and I would love to help and support some people. So, uh, Dieter was a great fit and, uh, you did a great job. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah it's I mean, been it, really great. Everybody's loving those videos and, uh, it's getting tons of really good, uh, reviews from everybody. So yeah. yeah, it was, it was super cool to see like the, uh, how many people were excited about, uh, Felix just like sharing his tips. And I was just like, Oh, like, cool. Cause I remember, um i don't know if i could say this felix but i remember we were talking about it before and um you were like curious about doing it and i was just like yeah man i, I think i think people will like it so it was really cool seeing like the positive reaction to it yeah definitely very encouraging and i mean the, these last few videos they're a bit of an experiment but seeing as how everybody's loving them so much uh mm -hmm. next year we're gonna go all in on that stuff hey yeah down Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Make a <or> break. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I, rem yeah. I remember one of the first, or, or like one of the interactions we had after some of the videos went live, where you were like, wow, this is kind of cool. And I was like, yeah, 100 more episodes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. But also, uh, at the end of this stream, which is going to go for about an hour, we're gonna announce the winner of the Discord Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest. Ooh. Determined by popular vote. So uh, yeah. stay tuned for that. Who will take a point for the server and take over the banner? We'll find out then. Mm. Shall win. Yeah. But I guess we want to talk about the latest Felix Tips video. Or I guess we can talk about all of them since we've never really done a dedicated stream for one of those videos. So Well, this we is... should talk about Dieter first. Yeah. <laughs> since some people may oh. not know. Yeah, exactly. Uh. So um if you also if you guys have any questions for Dieter, I'll keep an eye on the chat and I'll try to pick out a few questions here and there to uh to mm -hmm. ask Dieter. But I'd like to start it up and ask, how did you get into some animation? Like how did you discover that for yourself? Uh, how did I how did I know that was it? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, well, l funny enough, like I think um, I, I I wasn't really like a big like drawing kid uh, when I was smaller, um, but like I think uh, my my cousin was really good at drawing. He just didn't do it a lot, but he was really good at it, um, and that kind of made me like be like, oh, like I I want to do that too, and so that kind of started like igniting the 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 whole thing of me being like wait i can just draw <laughs> like i can just make things um so that was really cool and like i was i remember like i was walking around um well, I, like my my campus my my school uh just grounds and i saw a poster uh that said like uh and animate like in video games it was like a poster for like a 3d animation class mm -hmm. and that's what i was like i can learn that here and that's when I like, so I signed up for that class and, and like after that, it just kind of like, like it, it hooked me. I was just like, oh shoot. Like it was really cool seeing uh, your, like the characters emote and just move mm -hmm. in general. <laughs> Cause you know, you're, you're sitting over a computer for like 30 minutes trying to get like your, your character to just wave or something. And then you're like, oh, God, that was like 30 minutes. And then you press play and he's like, hello. And you're like, oh, you, you're doing it. He's alive. <laughs> yeah. So it, it was just a cool moment. And I think since then I was just like, oh, I got to like keep at this. Um, so I just, you know, went to classes uh, a lot in uh, college and university and stuff like that for art in general. And that's kind of how I got kept drawing, kept getting drawn into it. <laughs> Quote, unquote. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you're, you're dual discipline, right? You do 2D and 3D, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I like study 3D. Um, and then like, because uh, I started with 3D and because I was studying just animation in general, because 3D has a lot of aspects to it. Um, but I, I found animation to be like the one that I really liked. Um, and so I was like, oh, I want to study this animation thing. And because of that is when a lot of the other classes that I studied in were 2D focused. So then I was like, okay, well then I'll learn animate. And like the cool thing or the the hack about animating <laughs> is if you know the principles in 2D, you know the principles in 3D. So it's mm -hmm. like, uh, well, one thing that one of my professors said is that um, the cool thing about learning animation is no matter what program you're using, the principles of animation are the same. So all you really need to learn is how to use the program. And then like, you'll, you'll be faster than most people that need to relearn how to like model in other programs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah that's very true. It's like, it's the same job. It's just different toolboxes. Mm -hmm. Would you say you, I mean, I guess you prefer 2d over 3d or. Uh, well, 2d is a good aspect for like, uh, speed. Uh, in, in, in the way that, uh, in the way that some of the, uh, like videos and stuff that we work on is made because in 3d, you have to dedicate a whole like model rigging texture skinning before you even start animating. Mm. Um, and with 2d, you can just start animating from like a line. Uh, so it's just like, it, it's faster to get to the animation if you don't have like a team of people working on a 3d thing. Mm. Um, so it was just kind of the default that I was like, this is what I can do now. I don't have a team with me, so I can do 2D right now. <laughs> uh, but I will say it's 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 a lot of fun in a 2D uh, because it's like you can get the crazy like expressions and you can get like, quote unquote, breaking the model and stuff like that when you're working in 2D. Um, and it's like you have to do it sometimes in order to get a good gesture going. So it's it's a lot of fun in 2D for sure. Yeah, breaking the model sounds a bit harder in 3D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and at least to do it and keep it looking good. <laughs> yeah, you got to do like a whole separate rig in order to break the model too. Yeah. Uh, so that's the part where it's just like, oh, in 2D, I could just draw this hand getting bigger. But in 3D, <laughs> it's like I got to do a whole separate thing. Yeah. Though there's some games that do it really well. Like uh, Crash Bandicoot, the new game, does it mm -hmm. really well. Like they use like traditional animation techniques in like, you know, full fancy 3D graphics. And mm -hmm. uh, I know I'm currently playing through uh, the new Ratchet and Clank and noticed it there as well. Like they're dipping into some of those those old techniques. Yeah, like mixed yeah. media is really cool too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we got a first question in for you, Dieter. Someone Ooh. wants to know, uh, this is the, the cold capybara wants to know, who is your favorite fool's gold character? <laughs> and there's absolutely uh, a gun pointed to your head right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is going to be like, uh, I guess a popular one, but I, I like my boy sneeze. I yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't get over the little the the little dude. He's just a little guy who's just there. And you're like, I think he's good. <laughs> I don't really know about uh, yeah what he's gonna do. Uh huh. Uh. It's it's so weird how you can have a character that's like more chaotic than than the chaos of like the fool's gold like group. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of, I think that's what I like about him a lot too. I always find it funny that he became like a fan favorite because mm. when initially when I was animating him and like he you know in episode uh, five spoilers he dies. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <Whoa. laughs> Uh, but yeah, he like dies, and I was just like, man, nobody's gonna care about this little guy because like, <laughs> like nobody knows him. I knew uh, him for like half a year or whatever, like a whole session, like multiple sessions. So of course uh -huh. I was like fucking broken when when that happened. But other people, and then everybody was like, no, like in the, <laughs> in the comments, I was like, yeah. oh, you guys actually do care. Okay, cool. <laughs> people are broken up about this. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh. I was having some fun today because I was reviewing um, the bestiary for the uh, the book release and Sneeze has a stat block in there. And it's just like, Ooh. everything about Sneeze in the book is just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, all yeah. the like illustrations the and stuff. Well. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. I don't care about them. yeah. Uh, <laughs> here's another question from uh, Amy. Uh, Dieter, what was your best Christmas gift ever? Ooh, that one's hard. Uh, hmm. I feel like everybody who's ever gifted you something is now watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like listening and telling y'all, you better say, come on. Yeah. Oh, this is a hard. So, okay, these are the these are the two that I remember uh, that I like that, that like stick out in my mind. Um, so I guess it's like cheating. But the <laughs> uh, one when I was when I was like a kid uh, or I guess like smaller um, was I got uh, my grandma gave me uh a, a, like a not life size but just like a good sized uh beetleborg for christmas um and i don't know if you guys know what beetleborgs are but no, i do not uh they're like uh they're i think it's uh sen like sentai or something like that like the uh the power rangers kind of shows mm -hmm. um where it's like you, you know people just in suits and, and like uh stereotypical very like uh overacting in their suits but these guys were very like mechanical uh le like almost like mecha suits but like to made to look like uh insects um and so I thought that was really cool. And so she gave me one that was like uh, like a foot tall. And it was just like uh, metal and like made of alloy. And like oh. his eyes would glow red when you push a button. And I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> like, Whoa, so I was like, sick. yeah, it was just a really cool toy. Um, uh, and then my like my cousin got another one too, like a, a different one. So we were like, heck, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that one was just really cool because I didn't even know that existed. It's one of those things where it's like, you know how when you when you write your Christmas list and you're like, oh, I, I, I kind of want this or like uh, this would be cool. But like that one was one that I didn't I didn't know people made that. So when I got yeah. it, I was like, whoa. Um, and then another another one that I remember is like, so my uh, my family celebrates Christmas like on the 24th like christmas eve is when we like do everything and Hell then christmas yeah, day that's the right way to do it <laughs> no, it's not. It's single right way to celebrate <laughs> oh no we started it we started it. i always have an argument with him i'm just like it's on the 25th and he's like it's the 24th. <laughs> he still won't accept that she's wrong no it's the 25th okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's when it's christmas yeah we we just do it the, yeah, like, the night <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good run guys <laughs> uh like on like we we celebrated on, on the night of the christmas of christmas eve and that's how we've done it like you know forever so um the one time that i got like the christmas experience as in like waking up um, my parents got me uh, both a GameCube and a bike, like on more in the oh. morning. Oh. So, like this was my first time experiencing like waking up and seeing the gifts without seeing them beforehand. Because okay. usually we'll just see the boxes under the tree and being like, "Oh, cool!" Like we'll open those later today. Yeah. Um, but just the surprise of being like, "Wait a minute, these didn't exist before, <laughs> and yeah. now they're just here." Um, that was just kind of cool. So, like th that's memorable for me as well. Yeah, because obviously Christmas is supposed to be on the 25th, so special. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kick you from the stream. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, people stop drawing now. No! <laughs> uh, someone would like to know, uh, what software do you use, Peter? Uh, I just use, I use Photoshop. I use Photoshop CS6, um, which is probably not the best for animating <laughs> it's just what i've been used to so it's just what i use um mm -hmm. but that's a that's a program I, i've been using it for a long time so it's just kind of that thing where it's like i don't really know if like whenever you start an animation or a drawing it's just like i don't know if i want to take the time to learn a new project before i just start this project kind of thing so that's just what i've been using yeah that's that's i i I'm doing the same right now where I'm like, I'm learning like Unreal Game Engine. I'm just like, mm -hmm. this is, it's so much nicer to use what I already know with Unity, but it's like, mm -hmm. I do want to learn more. <laughs> right. It's like, I want to learn more uh, systems and stuff like that. And yeah, man, like you showed me a little bit of what you're working on and it's looking pretty cool. Yeah. I was making some little test animations, which are fun. 
Mm -hmm. But I mean, big credit to Unreal Engine for making it super easy to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you were telling me you can just like plop in a human model and it just works. And I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, Un Unreal is pretty impressive. I, uh, I'm excited to learn more about it. Um, let's see what other questions I have here. What would the fool's gold characters like for Christmas? I don't know. I don't know if Dieter can answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know the, the fool's gold characters inside and out. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in the game, but he was there. <laughs> Let me pull up my notes and then. <laughs> yeah. I've been prepared for this one. Ooh. All right. Dingo hit us with this. No, I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know, someone was suggesting you should make 3D models of the characters. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a 3D animated uh, Fool's Gold show. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Single-handedly done by Dieter. Uh, <laughs> Complete well, <okay>. relaunch. <laughs> Just the Uncanny Valley, I don't think would work. Like Sips mm. is not meant for 3D. For 3D. <laughs> so yeah, I'm surprised. I could totally see it working, yeah, actually. Fun. Mm -hmm. something i do like and this is a little bit of i guess of a tangent i remember like um when when 3d was like pretty new in the system of like movies and games um it was always so stiff and like you know it, there's that whole uncanny valley thing with like polar express and stuff like that yeah. um but something i do like is that like the more that people have been using and learning about it the more that i can actually see it evolving as like an art uh medium because people are now finally learning that you can stylize 3D and it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be realistic. It can be like an actual art style. And like when, when people start learning that it's like, Oh, like, heck yeah. Like you can start seeing things like, um, like, like the, like the Spider-Man movies and stuff like that, where it's like, yeah, you can see that somebody had like an artistic vision with that. And it's just like, I'm going to use 3D to facilitate that, not to like, just give me like a, a 3D sphere that I can move around or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think my very first time of realizing that was when I watched Tangled. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh my god, this is beautiful because they mm -hmm. were really using like traditional. Because I think they animated a lot of it in two D, and then they went on top of it with a three D to try to match that feeling. Mm -hmm. And they did a really beautiful job. And my first time being like, oh my god, like right here, it's like, wow, this looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, wow, this actually works. Right. Like, yeah. So it just needs I, I proper was, care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it just needs proper care and love and and yeah. So um, no, that was very impressive. By the way, uh, Tabby just says, uh, by, "Hey, hey, Tabby." Uh, <laughs> want Jimmy Neutron level 3D models of the Fool's Gold <laughs> I literally had that locked and loaded. I was about to read it out. Oh, <laughs> it's like, I yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Fool's that's Gold great. Jimmy Neutron. Oh. Uh, Unironically, though, I really liked the Jimmy Neutron models. Oh no! I was, I was like, I was like, you know what? This like, uh, like, oh, uh, how do you say, like, effort-wise and price-wise for like a show, this is fine. Like, I didn't have a problem with them, but you know, I only recently have I heard that people like really didn't like them, and I was like, oh, hmm. Yeah. We are no, unhiring no. from the single-handedly three D produced show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you, Tabby, for bringing out his true colors. <laughs> yeah. Exposing. I give you like a, a, a just a, just a Jimmy Neutron model with like blonde hair. It's like here's yeah. Sips. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little yeah. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, oh man, no, I. It just makes me think of all like like the, the whole early 3D time where everything mm -hmm. looked like a wax model. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like clay. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, good times like, though. Going uh, back to it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. There is. What is that? Do you guys think I should play a paladin bugbear or a cleric tabaxi in my next campaign? Hmm. Mm. I misread that as like paladin burger bear in my head but <laughs> i'm like well I've, clearly that's the answer yeah. <laughs> i've yeah. misread that a couple times myself too just with bugbear i was like <laughs> oh yeah i have to remind myself it's not burger bear the answer is <laughs> of course you should just play a paladin bugbear running the local burger bear franchise <laughs> yeah <laughs> there you go this is patron is burgers <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. 
Call them uh, Ronald. Yeah. See someone in the chat asking about the official Discord server. Uh, it should be at the top of the screen, discord.gg slash foolsgold. That's the official Discord server. And I think we're almost 4,000 people strong there now. It's kind of crazy. Did you put a link in the description? There's a big old link everywhere. Yes. Okay, I, re so I remember it this time. Good. <laughs> yeah. Because the ugly Christmas sweater contest was actually running in the Discord. So if you have no context of what the hell we're talking about, that's why. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we're trying to do like little fun contests once in a while. Um, mostly when <laughs> time. Um, but mostly we've been trying to do it almost every month or two to do a little contest of something. Um, I'd like to do one every time the episode comes out. Like episodes out let's do a little contest like something for fun mm -hmm. um and we try to do it where you know the winner of the contest because in the discord there's villains and heroes so when you join you can join either the heroes or the villains and um, the contest determine on who takes over the server for that period of time so it's just like who's on the banner who's won and then we we count points and stuff it's all for fun um mm -hmm. There's no like prizes physical because I know that can get messy, so I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Opt it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I still. Yeah, I don't know if I'd actually do physical giveaway stuff because I I just hear horror stories from from mm. from creators of giveaways, and I'm like, well, I don't know if I really want to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it once we figure out how to do it right. But right, otherwise, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, yeah, it can get messy real quick. Yeah. By the way, quick shout out. Uh, we got Gothy lurking in chat. So if you guys want to say hi, Gothy, she's here. <laughs> is that or no? <laughs> She'll see it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Dieter, here's another question for you. What's the weirdest character you've ever made? Hmm. Let's see. I think... I, I think from from the characters that I have, uh, this like the one shot characters are probably going to be the weirder ones because you know you got kind of crazy with that one, uh, or you go crazy with those. Mm -hmm. I think the weirdest character um, it, that I've made is like uh, I've made a little. She was like a half elf uh, girl that that attacked with yo yos, but like um, she didn't know that she was half elf. She thought she was half spider. Um, oh, because... how do you mix that up? <laughs> she because because she was raised by spiders. Is oh, what I, yeah, okay. she raised got lost by spiders. The... <laughs> yeah, like she giant was... spiders or little spiders. Like... Uh, that's up to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> that's up to interpretation. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, covered in spiders at all times. Like... Yeah, she's just crawling around. Her... She um. Uh, so like I made her, I think she was, I, I can't remember if she was a druid or a bard, but I think it was druid because she had a lot of spells where she would like, um, summon like, uh, where she could summon creatures or summon like the, um, the blade of daggers spell, which I think is a bard spell. So I'm, I'm, it, it must've been some kind of like multi-class of some kind, but essentially I made it so that any spell that she summoned was just her spider brother and being like oh I'm yeah here we come let's go <laughs> like just <laughs> covered in spiders all the time oh my god uh, and her like her, her her musical instrument I think I made like a violin and canonically in the one shot that that we read she wrote uh the the song toxic from from Britney Spears <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, because that's the song that was playing whenever we would get into combat and be like, "Yep, that's what she's playing right now." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that that was the one where I had to be like, "Oh god," because like in real life, I am not a fan of spiders. Mm -hmm. So when I made that character, I was like, "I'm gonna have to like uh, push myself to like learn more about spiders in order to be like, this is what she summons. This is how it works and stuff like that." Yeah, uh, yeah that, that was you know I feel you. When mm -hmm, I decided mm -hmm. to create a whole spider society for the Fool's Gold book. <laughs> and now I would know more about spiders than I ever cared to know. Yeah, that you would ever, like, naturally come across. Yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, uh, spider fans, you're going to be positively surprised at all the references I included mm. in the book. Arachnophobes. You're not going to like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh man, raised by spiders. I like I love subverting <laughs> ideas and the whole like ah yes, I grew up, you know, raised by wolves or something. It's like, no, mm -hmm. I grew up raised by spiders. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turns out they can feel. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I can I hear their tiny you voices. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah, I think that was the weirdest one that I've had, just concept-wise. Uh, I don't know what I'd feel about playing next to that. I'd be like, I don't know if I want to be your friend. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to have spiders come at me once in a while. Like, uh -huh. it's like I don't, I don't know if I want to be around this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone in the comments just said, "I love spiders, but hate jumping spiders." It's like, but, but they're the only cute ones. Mm. Like they're the only what? spider I no, can tolerate. No, they're not. They're horrifying. Jumping spiders? <laughs> ju yeah. The little, the little guys, tiny the little, ones. We're not talking about wolf spiders. We're talking about the little oh. guys. Mm. Okay. No, they're yeah, like the I tiny, don't... like little fuzzballs. They're like they're actually pretty cute. Okay. You know, I don't know if this is like a good or a bad thing, but I haven't seen a jumping spider in a while. So... It just means you haven't found it yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come <laughs> on. Like, uh. Yeah. But I remember running into them and just and they're always like curled up in a corner or something like uh, they're super tiny and they just want to like the, I think I don't know if they actually build webs. But the fact that like you don't see a web around them a lot of times is kind of why I thought I was like, I'm OK with them. Just I don't want them to be on me. <laughs> no, that, that's fair. I'm kind of the same. Mm -hmm. Right, like, I haven't seen yeah. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. It goes like, cut it, cut it. Please. Go. I hate spiders so much. Uh, oh, let's talk okay. about those trapdoor spiders. No I'm kidding. No, um, no. Moving on from spiders. <laughs> Someone also asked me, Felix, what was the hardest part of writing Fool's Gold? And it's like, this is part of it. <laughs> this is one of the hard <laughs> things of it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Back on spider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, I guess <laughs> let's okay. Dieter, let's get deep. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Proppy is asking. Did you have you ever cried over one of your characters dying? Okay, so I I don't think I haven't had one of my characters like die die yet is the thing. Mm -hmm. Um I think like I I think I've gotten attached to a character enough to where I think that could happen. Like I think I've had characters where I truly like uh grew to like really care about them so like I do think that I'm at that point or I've been at that point with certain campaigns. Um I had one of my characters die but we were like, <clears throat> we were uh, playing in a campaign where they could be brought back like pretty uh, easily. So this was after it had already been like established. So it was just like, oh, I'm dead. No. And being like, well, I got to wait until next session kind of thing. <laughs> um, so cry over a character. Not yet. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> it ha I haven't been unfortunate enough to be in that situation yet. Have you cried over any other characters? Like, it doesn't have to be yours, but like it, like an NPC or something? Or... I guess you can open the question up to like, has D&D ever, &D ever made you cry? So, um, n not yet for me, but I have made another person cry <laughs> in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a story you can share? Yeah, it's 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 like from a personal uh, game, so I don't think anybody would really like mine because no no identities will be shown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's we not were spoilers. Yeah, we were playing. Uh, we were playing a campaign with like uh, you know our 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 group got together like as strangers and and all that kind of stuff. basic, but like one of my uh, so like the other guy's character was a warlock that. Um, uh was trying to get pulled into like a deeper uh deal i think he was like an he was supposed to be an actor that wanted to become famous but like his his actor like um process i guess or like his his uh him becoming more famous was getting taken away from him because it's like oh your dad owes me a lot more so like if you like uh, the amount of fame that you can gather is going to be taken away from you unless you do this like really bad thing for me kind of patron. Um, and my character was this tiny little like 
uh, dragon, uh, dragonborn that was always like misconstrued as a kobold. So he was just this snappy little guy. Um, but essentially, my, uh, my character was like trying to uh, be his own support system. Um, and so when the other character came to my character, um, like j just just as a talk, because we were like outside of the uh, building that we usually hang out in, um, my character started like being really supportive towards his character and being like, look, like it, it, it wasn't even like a thing where he told me like, oh, my patron is trying to do this. He was just like, what do you what do you do when things aren't working out and all that kind of stuff? And so my character just gave him like a pep talk and being like, look, man, you're important to us. And um, I think one of the really like big, big lines that he remembers is um, he his character was going to be killed by like uh, one of the big bads. And because we were like after a big diamond that was going to help us like see the future and the the villain had both his character and the diamond in his hand and he was like look you're gonna have to choose like do you want the diamond and i'll kill your friend or do you want your friend and i'll break the diamond and like every all the other players looked looked over at me because i had become the impromptu leader at that point and i was like oh god that's so much pressure no. <laughs> um and i finally was just like break the diamond it's fine so like they broke the diamond and they gave us back our friend and my friend was like why did you do that and so i think i told him like look i would say you're a gem but we literally broke one for you <laughs> so like, <laughs> you mean more to us than this and i think like his player started tearing up at that and i was like oh, oh. shoot i can like do that now <laughs> like the <laughs> power the power <laughs> I don't so know the it, good it, moments though. Yeah, that's when I was just like, oh wow. But like I think uh I, I've stated I've stated it before where one of my bucket list uh things is to like have a moment where I like tear up or cry over D D. And it, it hasn't happened yet, but like um like I, I'm sure I'm sure it'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it definitely will eventually if you keep playing and you mm -hmm. get into the emotions of stuff. I mean I've been playing D&D &D for about 12 years now, and... God, has it been that long? Yes, it has. And it's only <laughs> um, happened twice to me. So mm. it's rare, but it can happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's happened to me three times. Mm. Three times. Mm -hmm. Well, one was I got really close, like really choked. And then the other two, I did cry. But mm -hmm. I'm like a very prideful crier. I don't like go like, Boo! I just like. <laughs> no, same. And it's just like, just, just a few tears coming down. The the aesthetic single tear rolling down your cheek. Yeah, the <laughs> tears, yeah. If a tear flows, it counts. We're not talking about, like, you don't have to be like <laughs> ugly crying. <laughs> 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 oh, I thought, I thought you were looking at it the other way, Felix, where it's like, if it doesn't leave your eyelids, I didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, uh, uh, Colby Stevens, thank you for the 50 saying, what you know, the... that was a good story. Oh, hey, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> thank you well, very thanks. much. Thank you. Oh, well, it was a sweet story. Mm. Well, I've got my fingers crossed for you that eventually you ugly cry in D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're all rooting for it. For your ugly <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned, <laughs> Stay tuned for tears. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, we'll ask every time we bring you on. Have you cried yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the first question. <laughs> yeah. And then once he finally cries, we have to just gaslight him. It's like, oh, what are you a pussy? Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, you're crying over a game. Oh my god. Are you are you setting? I cry right there again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that will make you really cry. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, let's see what I've got for a question here. Um, Pokemi was... Okay, it's a question for me, but I can also ask it to you, Dieter. Uh, what was the weirdest creature you've made for a campaign? Um, Dieter, do you have one for this? I have to look at your thing. Uh, so or maybe one you've seen. Like, you don't have to make it, but maybe one mm -hmm, you've seen. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've made or alternatively you've encountered. Okay, okay. Let me see... I think like one of the uh, 
one one of the like more interesting encounters that I've seen was uh one of my DMs made like a uh an a big like Valkyrie that was like kind of made out of oil. Um and it was interesting because uh I think I had the criticism of D D at the time where I was like it kind of feels like once you move like once you uh use your movement to go up to a creature that's kind of it on movement like everyone just kind of stands around and punches each other until someone goes down um but like the way that this creature worked was like because it was like made out of oil it could like slip around people without like uh really had any negative aspects for it and mm -hmm. it had like lots of long ranged attacks where it could like grapple you from a while from uh, a far away because of like the stretchy arms and it had like um you had a chance to be poisoned because it was like made out of oil whenever you would be grappled uh so it was this really like interesting like dance around the um uh the battlefield because he would live like he would leave like oil slicks as well that you could be like uh sort of act as like a free grease that would be cast um and that that one was just cool because it's like uh it was one as it was one element you know like one aspect where it's like yeah, he's just made out of oil and there was all these cool ideas like mixed around with it for combat. So it was that kind of thing where it's like, oh, what else can you do kind of thing with like other mm. creatures? So that one I remember because it kind of launched my like whole process of being like, how can I play with the mechanics of this? Yeah, like open up your brain. Just mm -hmm. got that third eye opening up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that, that, those monsters are really fun when they have uh what are they called again emergent gameplay almost or something like that but basically mm -hmm. like the abilities they open themselves up to more than what mm -hmm. just what they are by themselves yes I'm, I'm trying to think about my answer for this i mean have we talked about the amalga hound or is that spoilers yeah spoilers i think that's spoilers yeah yeah okay Ooh. spoilers I never said you... that. You've never heard that word. <laughs> delete. Um, delete. Rewind, delete it. Live at it. Let's delete. go. <laughs> uh, can you talk about the uh, uh, the the Tarma? Oh yeah. yeah, I could talk about the Tarma. I mean, that's, okay, that yeah. was in the was sample, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's funny. So because I'm looking at the Tarma, which arguably is a pretty weird creature. Mm. But it's by far not the weirdest one I've made in the book. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. But I mean, yeah, the Tarmal was really fun. A tease, a taste, if you will. <laughs> a little taste. Yeah. Yeah, no, because the Tarmal, I mean, God, it's a it's a big old gator with six nostrils, six arms, bony, like, bone spines on its back, which exude, like, toxic smoke and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it can light itself on fire. Yeah, it was one of the first times because I I was in a I was in a one shot where we had to fight it, uh, uh, and it was one of the first times where I was like, wow, I'm like legitimately intimidated by this creature right now. <laughs> I don't know what I should do. Uh, and I remember that was <laughs> we all collectively as we were playing had a moment where we were like, Felix, <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, this is no lie. But at the moment, I guess. I was saying earlier, I'm currently doing a final review of the Beast Jerry uh, for the book. Mm -hmm. um, so this is super on topic. But I was reviewing some of the stats and I was just hearing your voice in the back of my mind with some of these <laughs> abilities of just the group being like, Felix! <laughs> no, damn it! Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> there's, some, there's some heavy hitters in there. And I uh -oh. think the cool, the cool thing about the book, I think, is that it feels like 3.5 again where everything's mm. out to kill you <laughs> yeah if you if you look at the the kind of tone and flavor in the monster manuals um 5e is like fairly like you know yeah here's kind of what this monster is and what it does and like oh yeah it's maybe not great mm -hmm. but then if you look at some of the older D, D versions i can only mainly talk about 3.5 i know some of the older ones were probably even rougher but hmm. where it's really like, oh, yeah, like this thing, you know, goes out and tries to torture as many people as possible. And if it finds you, you will live like, you know, one month before it finally kills you with like a death blow or something. Oh, like damn. That, <laughs> you know, and it has like these gnarly limbs that like explode out of its skin and stuff. Like it's, it's way gnarlier in some of those uh -huh. books. And um, I mean, that was an extreme example. They're not all like right, that. Right, right. But 
I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but we've um, like in this book, I've shot closer to that, and a lot mm. of them, a lot of those descriptions are more like fleshed out with some rougher details. Like there's some that it's like, yeah, this thing will paralyze you, keep you conscious while it digests you. Right, stuff like that. And it's oh just my like, God. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, why did you put that flavor text in there? And yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you're the flavor. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. You're the oh flavor in the flavor text. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but the uh... bellowing wilds is supposed to be intimidating. You're supposed mm -hmm. to be like, I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's out to kill you. <laughs> yeah, guys, I think I might die if I yeah, stay here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, do we have. I don't have the art for the Tarma handy right now. I'd have to find it. Too bad. Uh, mm. I'd show yeah, it up on screen. Send it over. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, maybe I'll look it up. Uh... Ah, no, whatever. But yeah, Tarma is pretty weird, and it's by far not the weirdest thing in the book. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Nice yes. little plug. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Buy the book to find out more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the exciting thing is we are coming up to that coveted release date. I mean, we there's no firm date set in mind yet, but uh, I've got my fingers crossed we get this out in maybe the first quarter of next year. So mm -hmm. getting there, getting yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. But by Approaching. what we've seen, it's, it's like chef's kiss. Like, well, it is chef's kiss, like and it's looking like it'll be out on time. Heck yeah. yeah. yeah that looks good. Um, what else do we have here? Any questions? If Dingo Sips didn't release the Tarrasque, what was the original plan to do with it? I was like, well... Yeah, what was it? Mm. I mean, it's Kinora. She's She wants to take over the whole place, right? So... Yeah. I mean, this isn't spoiled if I talk about it, right? No, Kinora's because goal? it's... No, because she's dead. Like, yeah. she's okay. dead. Spoilers, like... if you haven't seen the first few videos, she died. Oh. <laughs> she's super dead. But Kinora is a pretty pretty classic villain I went with where it's like, yeah, she wants to take over the Bellowing Wilds and likely larger portions of the world. And if she literally has possession of destruction incarnate, aka Tarask, um, that would be uh, helping her along. And uh, that's that was really her whole plan. It's like eventually they were going to find out that the thing is down there. And, you know, Kinora had all these plans to like attack cities and stuff like trying to control the Trask and whatnot. Um, they like built up an army and stuff too. Well, yeah, like, plus all parties. the beasts. Well, the thing is that every single beast folk in the town was her army. They just didn't know it. Yeah. She was just going to take mm. over and mind control them. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, MVP bees just sent me, uh, sorry, not bees, um, Gothi just sent me the picture of the Tarma. I'm going to, Send it Ooh. over to you here in, in the chat so you can send it to people. In the chat. There you go. Thank you, Avery. But, uh, yeah, so that was their plan. Again, that was, that was pretty classic, like, villain setup. Um, my earlier days of DMing. <laughs> <laughs> but they fucked that up. <laughs> Didn't exactly yeah, go as planned. Well. My earlier days. <laughs> oh, how I miss them. <laughs> okay, here we go. There you go. That's the Tarma. Oof. Which this is done by Avery, too. True. Yeah, that was drawn by Avery, a.k.a. Hey, Gothic. Nice. Yeah, we have too many aliases going around. Too many AKAs? Too many AKAs, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it looks gnarly and it's gonna, gonna fuck you up. It's, it's gonna get you. That's <laughs> not great. Yeah. Now is a good time, and you can make a sick weapon out of its corpse. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, you can make a sick great sword out of it. It's pretty cool. Now I'm just silently admiring the art. Okay, thank you for putting. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah it's just like, oh man, so that's some good art. shit. <laughs> uh, Wyatt says, Felix, you helped inspire my homebrew campaign. Oh, I'm happy to happy to hear that. Hey. That's that's the whole goal. Inspire chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me make a cut on my questions log here. Uh, I've answered that one. I've answered that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dieter, if the Fool's mm. Gold characters got into a snowball fight, who do you think would win? Ooh. 
You know, I feel like um, if all the Fool's Gold characters got into a uh, snowball fight, I think maybe Gothi would win, but only because she would like she would do the mon stare to everybody, <laughs> and everyone would be like, <laughs> everyone, "I don't, I don't want to throw anything her way." <laughs> <laughs> She'd have one giant snowball like behind her, and she'd just be like, "Hey, someone's getting this if they if they cross me." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she also has druid powers, so she yeah. Can, like, mm -hmm. Wagger Shark, thank you for the forty, which I believe are Danish crones. Woman, actually, how do you pronounce it? Uh, D K K. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's I it's, it's a Danish yeah. currency. I just don't know how you pronounce it in English. Like, I think in German, mm. it's Konen. But I don't know how you pronounce it in English. If it's crone? Oh, oh well. I'm curious. Regardless. Crone. Yeah, it is yeah. crone. Okay. Nice. Oh, croner. Okay, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Oh, like a singer. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think someone in chat asked, uh, Felix, are you German? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, yes, there I you am. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I am born German, born and raised. Moved to Canada about uh, how many years is that now? Fifteen years ago. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that means I've known you for fifteen years. Damn. Damn. You know, I was happy once. <laughs> and then I met oh, Dingo. No. <laughs> no, I'm I'm that sentence. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and then Canada came. And then, and then Canada, Canada came. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Been happiest years of my life here in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess um, like to kind of clear my question backlog, but like Dieter, like. I guess is there anything cooking for you next year that you wanna you wanna talk about? Any goals you've set? Uh anything anything cooking? Uh <laughs> putting you on putting you on blast. <laughs> yeah, right. Being like uh uh <laughs> Yeah, but the um, resolution. I mean, I think I wanna um I, I wanna start a series on my channel. Ooh. Um I think I, I've been I've been talking about it for a, a long time and I just haven't really like pulled the trigger yet. Mm -hmm. Um so I think I want to start like a story series on my channel that I've been wanting to for a while. Uh, and I think like next year would be a good time to just start. It's like, hey, it's it's a it's a new new year, new slate. Uh, yeah. yeah. To just start doing that. So I, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm I'm currently learning to let um let the little let the little things go on my like art where um I, I think I've had this discussion with you guys before, but like uh, I, I would always be super worried about being like, oh, there's a straight line or like it just doesn't look exactly like what I want it to look like. So it, was, it would just be like it would take me a long time to finish something. And I'm starting to try like letting that go to kind of yeah. be like, all right, I need to get this out kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, with a little bit more practice on that, I can try to like actually keep up with the story um, like uh, like just episodes with that definitely um so i want to do that and then i also like i think i guess like a little peek into my personal life i also do want to try getting uh more into like uh reading the reading some tarot that i've like mm. been messing around with for yes. a little bit yes yeah uh, i want to get better at it because i'm just learning right or i'm just starting right now mm -hmm. <clears throat> so i think those are like the the main things that i wanted to do for it some, some good goals for next year yeah awesome. and i love how like writing a series uh like storytelling series is, like it's a lot of different disciplines you learn mm -hmm. all at once and you get a lot of practice with it and uh i don't, fucking know, it. <laughs> I don't know if you have, if you're really qualified to talk about this dingo yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think yeah. you should what? just sit down what kind of experience <laughs> 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 it's like, what, what kind of experience would you have for that? Yeah, what would you yeah. even know about it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, dude. It is, it is good that, like, you're letting go of that perfectionism, because that's yeah. really what kills an artist. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and kills uh, success for an artist is that perfection um, problem that we all have. Right. Because you just consist... The, like, quantity eventually becomes quality. 
and you know I've talked about this before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's for anybody out there. It's like you just have to keep making things consistently over and over, and um, let go of that perfection to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm done with this piece. I'll move on to the next one. And I mean, that's how I deal with my episodes is like, okay, I only have a day to do this minute because uh, I do a minute a day. Dude, and that's then... so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently it is. I didn't know that. But yeah. some people are like, that's insane. I'm like, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just, I just, uh, yeah, I have to do a minute a day. And then sometimes I go a little bit over where I'm like, okay, this section is really hard. <laughs> Because I have like new characters coming in and I don't have any assets to work with, so mm. I kind of give myself some lean uh, to lean on, you know. But some leeway, um, yeah. Leeway—that's the word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, some leeway, but I make up for it other times where sometimes I get done like a minute and a half in a day, mm. um, or uh, at most I think once I did two minutes. Once. Jeez. Once. It once. Only yeah. once. Yeah. <laughs> only once that, that is was... so insane uh dingo because like uh to put it in perspective when i was taking like art classes uh for animation um one of my uh like and one of my animation classes the final like the very end of the entire like um uh oh, i forget what you call it but the year at the very end of the year um was that we needed to turn in a one minute animation like that we would be working on for the entirety of the year yeah and and, and that was our like final so the fact that you're mm -hmm. like all right i gotta do this it's like what huh <laughs> well it also like i do cheat like it isn't actually animation it's more mm. storyboarding so you could say like i do a minute of storyboarding or uh, animatic or animatic sorry yeah animatic so I don't know if I would put myself in the same category of like actual animators, because mm. that definitely like I've done that before for sure. Usually, mm -hmm. like I remember working on thirty seconds, like full animation, um, you know, pencils and in betweens and all that stuff during college, and that was like yeah, that's a full week. That's yeah, like, if not a week and a half. So, um, like I understand that, but when it comes to like my style, and and you've worked with the stuff because we've had to kind of merge a mm -hmm. bit so that you can can kind of you have to emulate my style um mm -hmm. so that's what was for the audience it's mm -hmm. like we wanted it to feel like it was still a, -a, a smooth video. transition yeah it was a smooth transition that i wanted it to still feel like i had animated it in a way um <clears throat> but giving you know somebody else um that work because i just don't have the time hey, you need um, to take a break woman <laughs> well yeah i yeah, and I, I really do love working on the episodes, so it's hard to for anybody to take me away from them. <laughs> like, anybody who's just like, you gotta make something else. I'm like, eh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to work on my episodes because uh, I just love them so damn much. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I, but getting back to the, the point was uh, just that, I, I created a system for myself where I was like, if I'm going to tell this story, I have to let go of perfectionism and just kind of lean into like, like sketchy kind of going, um, going for the flow of getting one minute done a day. And then uh, with that, you know, I can at least get them out somewhat consistently. I mean, now I'm at officially 29 episodes. I know it's the, the last one was called Ep 28, but halloween episode is also in there mm -hmm. so um no bonus 20, yeah 29 videos for this freaking series <sighs> yeah you've made a few feature films worth mm -hmm. yeah yeah of just like uh, just this animation and stuff so i've had to let go of being perfectionism but you can clearly tell from the first videos to the latest one i've grown mm -hmm. you know? so um you can everybody can kind of see that yeah it does work you just have to be patient i am a very patient person i've realized mm. so um i uh, i can wait <laughs> i, <laughs> I can see <laughs> yeah yeah i know that in the long run it'll be worth it mm -hmm. um, <laughs> i remember when i saw like uh one of your episodes that was like 
20 minutes and i was like oh my god <laughs> be like why would you do that to yourself yeah <laughs> i know she was working on her next episode and she came to me it's like felix <laughs> so i was looking at the word count oh no and this is gonna be my longest video yet <laughs> it's like <laughs> honey i swear to god <laughs> yeah you were pretty uh you're like honey because then because <laughs> no. then afterwards you know after the video's done she comes to me and it's like why am i burnt out it's like i wonder why you're burnt out <laughs> yeah this I can't video think of is gonna it. be my longest hmm. yeah this video is gonna be my longest but i'm also like this video this episode that's coming up is probably my like I don't know. I feel the most energized for it than I have in a really long time. Mm. And so I think it's going to flow really nicely and I'm just going to go for it. And it, I'm not even going to feel it. I'm just going to just because like just... the last video I did, fuck, I felt that every mm. single minute was was like pulling teeth because I was terrified of that episode coming out. But this mm -hmm. one, I'm like, <laughs> I don't fucking care anymore. I'm doing what I want. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm over the hump. Let's go. I'm over the hump. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I am. I'm over the yeah. hump and I feel great. And I'm just like, let's go. <laughs> like, I'm so stoked for this one. It's just, I don't, you guys are not ready for this episode. Mm. I know you guys are not ready for this episode. Oh, so, no. Because you know, so, I wasn't ready for this session, so. <laughs> so it's gonna guys, hurt you like it hurt me <laughs> yeah like you guys are definitely gonna see that how much pain there is so um, uh -huh. it's gonna be great I'm, I'm i'm loving it and uh yeah anyway um, <laughs> it's been real fun though trying to like uh uh match your art style because i remember like um uh when we were going through it being like this is how i draw um it was it was really like like oh cool like i can do it like this way or i can do that way um and it was such it was such a like a, a big compliment i think in the first uh felix uh tip video uh i was looking at the comments and people were like uh uh great job dingo or like hey dingo you great job animating this and i was like he, he they don't know <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a compliment that is quite a compliment mm -hmm. for like it to be like so um seamless at that point you know yeah yeah, yeah. so I, I was i was like i was having a good time with that too um and yeah just like all of the other felix tips videos have been really fun to work with um the back and forth and stuff like that that we have with it too yeah finding i enjoy that a lot finding memes for it and yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah making sure the fun. jokes fit and stuff oh yeah that's, mm -hmm. that's fun yeah i do think it's funny for the last uh uh felix video that we made there's uh, how like it was so funny having to go back and forth in such a businessy type way of being like but how skimpy do we want the goblin to be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how risque is this going to be? Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I was, we were laughing internally too, because it's like, oh my God, are we actually getting Dieter? Of all people, we're getting Dieter <laughs> to actually draw a skimpy goblin? Is this happening? We have the power. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was it was so funny seeing the message, uh, Felix, where you're like, "This would be a good joke," and I'd be like, and I was just like, "All right, I just want the record to show." <laughs> <laughs> Felix is asking, <laughs> "Should do skimpy goblin?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I was talking to a friend uh, uh, to uh, I was talking to uh, Gothi's player uh, when when we were like when I was working on it, and um, it, it was like it was such a funny thing to come up because I was like. I'm gonna have to have like curvy goblins on my search history because of work. <laughs> <laughs> just but like the joke we did, we, yeah, yeah. But the way we did the joke, at least it was just silly. It's just yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, I just it's, it's it's totally it's totally fine. I just thought it was so funny to be so like, funny. wow, we're like we're we're uh, putting pictures back and forth to be like. Is this good? Like, is this too much? Or is this... Yeah. <laughs> this didn't too much butt. Too much yeah. ass. Yeah. <laughs> too much tits. Right amount of goblin ass. 
<laughs> okay, moving oh. on before that conversation turns sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we've been about an hour, and we still have to announce the winner <clears throat> of the Ugly Christmas Sweater con yeah. Contest. Yes. Ooh. I almost Drum recorded out concert. That would have been quite the concert. The concert! <laughs> yeah. Let me uh, pull up my notes. Yeah, you pull up your notes. As we shall reveal. Yeah, let's see. And in, in classic, like, now? teasing fashion, we're gonna discuss the, uh, we're gonna talk about the first three placements, and we're gonna start from third place. <laughs> and I will say this was actually a pretty close, a pretty close call with some of these. So do we want to explain at least what it is? To yeah, true. So for, for anybody who wasn't in the Discord, um, we were running an ugly Christmas sweater contest. And in the Discord, uh, the entire server split up between Team Heroes and Team Villains, which is a surprisingly equal amount of people. Mm -hmm. And whoever wins this contest by popular upvote is going to win a point for their team and take over the server banner with their faction's logo. So we're about to find out if this is going to be a win for Team Heroes or Team Villains. And who will claim the banner? Dun, dun, dun. Which right now, currently, it is held by the heroes. Currently, it's heroes. One to zero. Because I want to run more contests, but life got in the way. <laughs> well, they were... Yeah, and we did a trivia night. That's what it was. Yeah. They won the trivia night. Yeah. But I'm hoping to organize a lot more events next year. I want to run a Smash tournament. I would like to um, do some more like gameplay nights, maybe another trivia night. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot more fun over there. So if, if you want to join on the fun, we're also like, you know, Dingo, myself, Dieter, and like a bunch of others. We're also like lurking through those chats. Sometimes we jump in and respond as well. So yeah, we talk once in a while. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, um, it's a fun time. I know that with the trivia night, we'll only be able to do a couple trivia nights, I think, in total. Because if not, we're just repeating questions. Because I don't think we have enough fool's gold questions. Well, like, no, I can only do so see, much. See, the thing is, we probably have enough for like, one more good trivia night. And then once it's done, the next trivia night can be on the book. Yeah. Ah. Well, you do have to be careful with that because some people just won't have the book. True. Though maybe I can stick to some of the free samples. But either way, we can have some fun with it. Okay. Um, anyways, let's move on to the results of the contest. Um... <laughs> So, we have in third place. God, let me hope that I can pull this up. In third place, we have. Let's hopefully this shows up properly on stream. It does. We have the Lone Cabin from Team Heroes, with a total of seventy-three upvotes. Ooh, oh man, dang. I should have I should have queued up like Wait. a fake applause button or something. Yeah. <laughs> then, Woo! Can you send me like a picture of the sweater. Oh yeah, I can I post can... it. I can post it here in the chat for you as well. Okay. There you so go. Then I can show people like who was winning. Which honestly, personally, this one is my favorite one. That mm. one is very good. A Christmas tux, like. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Mm -hmm. Good job, oh. uh, Lone Cabin. Wait, hold on. What? I already have it on, on screen, honey. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah, I'm overlaying you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, you just keep drawing. Okay. Just Stay in your honey. lane. Yes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm just kidding. Um, then, uh, proudly holding second place, we have Violet Rampart with this one. I'm going to copy it in so Dingo can see it as well. Representing Team Heroes with 92 upvotes. Oh, oh Also known I as Quincy that. Quinn before their name changed, just for clarification. Yeah. yeah I love this one. May all you bacon burn. <laughs> Make sure I've got this properly lined up so it's not cut off. But, uh, oh man, cue drum roll. We have the first place winner by popular vote is the... Thomas is Asian with their... Slayer reindeer blood ugly Christmas sweater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which I really have to say is not ugly at all. That is just glorious. That is Ooh. absolutely awesome. And they are first place. First place with an astounding one hundred and seven upvotes, and securing the win for Team Villains. Hey! Hey! 
I am on team villain, so this pleases me. <laughs> yes, this pleases me immensely. So I am going to change the server banner over right now. As the only hero here, I am displeased. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's really funny seeing this sweater and like, I don't know if it's like to size, but it looks like it's a crop top sweater and that just makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's amazing. What was that? Not letting me upload the picture. <laughs> no! Oh, no! We will, wait, um, wait. we will come back to this. Wait, 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 are you talking about the banner? Yeah, it won't let me upload the new server banner. What? I don't know. I'll get it figured out. Oh, I haven't sh showed it to you yet. I'm sorry. Here you go, Tingle. Yeah, I want to see. Now you can see it. Oh, yay. That's <laughs> like something from Doom. That's yeah, awesome. I know. I love it so much. <laughs> I have to buy that for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Wear it around. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey, let's go. <laughs> but anyways, oh. woo! Team villains take over. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Finally, yeah. we, have, we have kicked out the smelly heroes. <laughs> oh, I, I might as well just leave, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, in the holiday spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yay. Well, I love that. That was that yeah. was awesome. I'm glad everybody participated. I did go and lurk and see all the, the sweaters. Some pretty mm -hmm. cool stuff in there. We had a uh, lot of submissions. Let me see. In total, we had... 23 contestants actually wow. and a lot of them got a lot of upvotes so yeah that was uh that was a good one mm -hmm. yeah but thank you all for participating obviously everybody is a winner but, the, <laughs> but really the, the villains they're really taking us yeah, except the people that didn't win <laughs> except the losing heroes <laughs> <laughs> oh then we shall do another uh, another one sometime, another mm -hmm. contest, and then yeah. we shall the lead again, we shall find out. Yeah, we will. Yeah. So, um, where does that leave us? I guess we should talk a little bit about the next year. Just, uh, I have some, oh. like, oh. some announcements I can make. A lot of them are pretty spoilery, though, so I can't say those yet. But, uh, Ooh. after today's live stream, we're gonna be taking a little break. We're gonna be off with family. Yeah. We're gonna be at it again in january and uh video dropping probably pretty early on maybe second week january not a fool's gold episode but something new and exciting <laughs> I know. new and exciting I'm yeah i mean you're working i'm excited on it. <laughs> oh well yeah i think i've already talked to people have about you talked it. about it okay yeah, I have. but i'm gonna be uploading i'm gonna try anyway i have to find it i know we have it i just I have, have to find it. it i have it you do okay yes i have it <laughs> Uh, for the, um, the one shot we did in Dallas, Texas of the Father's Day celebration with Z and, uh, Puffin Forest. Um, God, was so it a the, Father's Day celebration? I, that's it like, was. That's June. I totally made Bone Daddy jokes, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I made, um, I made Bone Daddy jokes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So that was my first ever live Bye. game in person. Yeah. Where the audience played the role of God. Uh oh. Yeah. It was fun. It was actually a really fun time. So yeah, that's so... gonna be dropping early <laughs> January. Yeah, you were so nervous, but you did so good. I was really nervous because I'd never done it in person. Um, but it was an amazing time. Like, w Heck absolutely yeah. would do again. Yeah, but we're gonna upload that as soon as we come back from the holidays, because now we have it, and also I'm. I made time for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was fun fact. That was the only D and D game where I've nearly passed out because oh. I was I hadn't like because I was dumb. I didn't drink or eat anything that morning. Plus, I was nervous. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, I had my belt a little too tight, so um, I was oh, no. and I was in bad shape. And there was actually a point where I nearly fainted. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you could. Since there's no, I think the video was lost, unfortunately, because their laptop. There is no video. Yeah, yeah there was no... so we had video originally, but like the organizer's laptop literally like overheated and like destroyed itself. Oof. Like actually. <laughs> so we don't have the video. But uh, if you were there, that was the only time you almost saw me pass out. No, I didn't notice. 
Good. <laughs> like I'm beside you. Good. And you told me later, like, man, I was about to pass out. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, that was sketchy. Um, then of course we have February, which mm -hmm. I can't say the things we're going to release that month. What I will say is there is a lot of well, there's there's big things coming in February. I can say that much. So February is a very exciting month. Also, it's my birthday month. So <laughs> a lot of cool stuff happening. For there. that reason. It's a superior <laughs> month overall. Superior <laughs> month overall. Nothing nothing is coming out. It's just my birthday, and I wanted to let everyone know. Yeah, and then yeah. very likely in March, the... Uh, well, okay, I don't want to overpromise, but we're currently shooting to get that PDF into people's hands in, by March. So I can't I'm... say a date. I can't lock that in. I can't confirm that. Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny any of this. <laughs> but shooting for around March, first quarter, we'll see. Very um, so we're, yeah, we're kind of making a staggered thing here. Like January, pretty exciting. February, very exciting. March, mm. you're going to have a heart attack. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> so. Also, I'm hoping to get out episode 29 by the beginning-ish of February, but there is no promises there because life and also, like I said, this is the longest episode I'm ever going to make, so I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> You'll get it when you get it. You get it when you get it, but I mean, I am I have a feeling I'll be racing through mm. it, to be honest, because like I'm so freaking stoked about this episode that i'm like ah! like i feel like i'm i'm powered up like goku like i'm just mm, ready to yeah go, um super saiyan mode so um yeah. yeah i i don't know how that's gonna go but regardless I, i'm i'm gonna be trying to shoot for the beginning if i were like the first two weeks but i don't know i don't know I'm yeah i mean all of these dates uh, are a bit flexible of course but this is the plan this There's is what's, what we're thinking of happening and uh Cool stuff. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, before I forget, I mean, you heard it from Dieter. He's going to be working on a new video series. And he also <laughs> has lots of exciting stuff on his channel. So please do check him out. I have his channel in the description um, down below. Oh. It's... Um, oh. That, <laughs> sorry, I just saw I just saw what, that my other screen's been blocked by a prompt. Uh, check mm. it out. Okay, fuck it. I can't get rid of it right now. Um, but go check him out. You know, it's, his channel is called Vitamin Dieter. Definitely subscribe. Right. Check out his stuff. Right? Link below. So, yeah, link below. Please go check it out. And if you want to join our Discord, it's discord.gg slash foolsgold. Link is at the top of the stream. You can see it there. Um, come hang out. And anything else? Am I forgetting something? Uh, not that I can think of. Dingo? Happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And happy I mean, new we, year. <laughs> we said our thank you in the last Felix Tips video, but now I get the chance to say it in person. Hey. Have a happy holiday, everybody. Thank you very much for continuing to support our stuff. And we honestly just want to keep making more fun stuff. More. 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 Yeah, lots of cool shit. Yeah. You guys have no idea. Lots of, lots of lots of cool shit. Yeah. Um yeah. So happy holidays. Everybody be safe. Safe and stuff. So yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no killing people. Well, just try. Just try. <laughs> just try. <laughs> Apparently participation trophy's good enough. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but thank you, Dita, for joining us. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. Thank you guys for uh inviting me over. Yeah, we'll do it again. Um, some other time um, as time goes on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys I think around. that's it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see you guys in the new year. Oh.